G'day guys, welcome back. I thought we were going to China, but I think that might be next week. So for this one, we're at home at Marvel against the Freeman or Dockers who are in 10th. I think we've dropped to 5th after last week's crushing defeat against the Giants in our first interstate trip of the year. So we're looking to return home and have a big win against the Dockers. 50 games with class and more. Congratulations. Brayshaw, Andrew Brayshaw, well done, mate. And out come the Saints. Congratulations, Rowan Marshall, 50 games. Well done, Rowan Marshall. But yeah, I mean, a one point loss last week, it's as bad as it gets in terms of heartbreak. So we're hoping to have a huge result today. It's very, very sunny at Marvel Stadium. That'll settle as the day goes on. So Seb Ross breaks away. Good kick inside 50 to the 50th gamer. He's beaten by Hamling. Kick out wide. Good contest from Jan Geary. Gets away. Matera is never going to catch him. Kick forward. We need to see something out of Tim Membry and Max King today. They've both been awfully quiet. Loney. Who's that? It's Gresham. 20 metres out directly in front of goal. Jade Gresham. Oh, not sure about it. Oh, he's missed it. Classic St Kilda fashion. Marshall. Not a good handball at the back. Dan Hannabry. Keeps on going. They're not going to catch it, Dan. All the way into an open goal. Dribbles it through. And we get the first of the afternoon. As Billings gets away from Walters. Oh, it's going to be close, but he gets away. Marshall streaming up the ground. This is the St. Kilda we like to see. Kick forward. Max King hasn't kicked a goal for about three weeks. He's on at the back. Oh, memory stolen it, but he needs one as well. He kicked two behinds last week. That could have won us the game. Tim Membry finally gets one on the board. It was obviously ended. Howard. Oh, no. Webster reckons he could take it. He let it out the back. And it's a goal for Cam McCarthy. Frio get there first. He's very happy about himself. Good effort. Has to get rid of it. He couldn't. Darcy Tucker. Handball. I think it's Alex Pierce there. It's Jesse Hogan. He sent it from 55 out. Fantastic goal. And the margins back to a point. So they're bringing a tougher game than I thought they would. And especially after we kicked the first couple. Tucker runs to 50. Sends it in deep. Brennan Cox is on his own. Like that Hunter Clark. Get away from the mark, mate. Should be 50, but it won't be. Brennan Cox hits the post. Oh, you're a spud. Oh, it's just poor. Hill gets it to Juman. No, it's Hughes. He's kicked the goal. Oh, no. Poor end to the opening term. But we're well and truly in this game. We've just got to lift again. We let ourselves go late in that quarter. All the tools in that forward line. Loney situated under it. Oh, somehow we took the mark. He is seriously our best player. Kick two last week. Don't think he's had one this afternoon. He does now. And we take the lead against his old team. Sent forward. Marshall dribbles it. Oh, no. I don't think he was going through anyway, but Butler, for some reason, just picked up the ball. Jones runs it in 20 metres out. See Seb Ross. And Seb Ross puts it away. Saints lead by eight points. We're starting to dominate again as we did early on. Not sure why we didn't have the opportunity to take advantage. Marshall, great effort. Rowan Marshall kicked quite a few goals early in the season. He's not kicked as many recently, but that is going to be one added to the tally for Rowan Marshall. It's his first of the afternoon. We take a 14-point lead. Can't get there from the back. Five picks it up. Nat Fife, oh what a goal, you can't stop him, he's just got away and slotted it from 50 out, he does what he likes, a bit more free flowing scoring, it's Brennan Cox, he's kicked two behinds, can he nail a goal finally, he runs to 25, Webster's pressure was enough to put him off, oh Brennan Cox has had three behinds, Billings, oh that's poor, turned over, Fife on the siren, he's kicked it behind, so five point lead at half time it's good but we had a 14 point lead moments ago so we've let it slip a little bit king soccer's at a goal it's been weeks since he's kicked one and he'll have to wait a little bit longer margins at six points oh walters got up on the back of jay gresham gave away an unnecessary free kick had a chance to kick one early jay gresham hooked it to the left oh he's done it again poorly another behind for gresham but he's been so good off halfback. This to give us a 13-point lead. It's 
barely snuck through for a point. So we've had it locked in here for a few minutes and not been able to convert a goal. Great punch forward. Dunstan. One more at the back. Butler. Oh, try to find King who just needs one for his confidence. Loney runs in at 20 metres. Drills it home. He's been on the chain of Jermaine all game. He's finally got himself off. He's kicked his second. Fisted forward by Carlisle. Butler has not been caught once this season and it's not going to happen on this occasion. Dan Butler, huge goal. 20 point margin. He is so rapid. One's going to kick a clutch goal for them. It's going to be Michael Walters. Steps up and it's got enough. Michael Walters brings it back to 14 points. Billings. It'd be great to kick one straight away. Marshall. Oh, fell at the back. Max King. He needs one. He's got it. Finally, Max King. I think it's been maybe since the Collingwood game or even before that since he's found a goal. Brennan Cox, the only man. Siren Sounds beats him to it. So we take 22 points into the last quarter. A very good quarter. A little bit inaccurate. Three goals, five. But um, still dominated. And we've got one more quarter to really assert ourselves and make it a big win. Oh, it's a silly decision. Butler. We said he never gets caught. Runs in, 15 metres out, it's another one for Dan Butler, and that is probably game over, 28 points the difference. Dockers, Brayshaw, Meek, finds Walters I think it is, he kicked the goal, so 22 points in it. Mark, Marshall, sees Mac King, another gift for King, he's hit the post, oh I just knew it when I charged it up that much, that it was fraught with danger. Oh, free kick. Going the way of Jack Loney. The sun starts to set on a Marvel Stadium afternoon. Jack Loney from 50. He's got it. Game is well and truly over. We lead by 29. Bombs it long. No one can take it. Max King gets away. Sends it to the goal square. Dunstan. Fantastic. This to make it 35 points. It's been a high scoring afternoon for us. We've kicked another one. The icing on the cake. Dunstan's got it. Tap out the back. Steel runs away from his man. Siren sounds. It's a big win at home. 35 points, but simply a formality in the end, really. It was a, it was a solid performance, but um, yeah, we take it every day of the week. A little bit inaccurate once again, but Fife gets a three. It's probably fair. He, he carried them for most of that game. I thought we had a lot of good performers of our own. Butler was so good getting off the chain a couple of times, but game was close at half time. We just closed it out with two really good quarters uh, in the end, and we take our seventh win of the year. See you guys next time.